Explained by the Billy Meyer contacts, mysteries, myths, legends, conspiracy theories, historical inaccuracies, and more. Compiled by David Chance, revised October 18, 2023. We form see also consciousness as subconscious, see concepts, values and wise advice from the Billy Meyer contacts. Contact Report 039 In a similar context, however, I would now be interested to know how it is with the other world contactees and recipients of messages from the highest levels. You once said earlier that the real ones of these were also only very few. Sure, that is so. But at the same time, I only spoke of really high levels and the highest intelligences. No earthly contact persons are to be found who maintain contact with higher or lower or parallel otherworldly beings. The number of these people, however, who could actually enter into connection with human beings of other dimensions, is only to be reckoned as 16 of these all over the world, but these do not use their capabilities. How large, then? is the number of those Earth humans who want to enter into connection with lower spirit forms and otherworldly ones, etc., and who try this, even though this is impossible. It is impossible for us to investigate that, but on the other hand, it also is not of importance to us. Only important to us are those who could enter into connection with other dimensioned human forms. Only those 16 mentioned are of value, along with the 268 connections in the Earth Human's W.E. Collective Subconsciousness level. What am I to understand by the W.E. Subconsciousness level? It concerns subconsciousness connections to the W.E. form of the Earth Humans and, therewith, to same-dimensioned life forms in this world's area who stand in no wise higher in their evolution than the connection-seeking Earth humans themselves. Thus, they cannot convey or obtain any translated or higher knowledge, ha nor collective subconsciousness. Thus, they are not higher life forms that have an enormously high consciousness knowledge or spiritual knowledge. You have grasped it very well. These forms are ones that are in no wise advanced from the average Earth human by many years into the future, for in this case, the W.E. collective form is indeed based on the W.E. subconsciousness form of the existing Earth humanity. If I understand correctly, is this special W.E. subconsciousness level also responsible for the fact that erroneous religious teachings become represented? You think correctly. But often, which must also be said, these connections are only imagined or even deliberately deceptive and non-existent. Contact Report 083 For three days I tried to get to Mr. Glansman, at about two o'clock in the morning, to find out what it was all about, and why he was so out of line and destroyed his contact. I also succeeded very well in my attempt at least until I was in his immediate vicinity. But if I say this immediately, it does not mean that I was able to penetrate to his aura, which I strangely did not see as blue radiation, but as violet radiation, which shimmered somewhat blurred through an enormous force field, which I was not able to analyze. Nevertheless, I then tried to penetrate this force field, or to break through it in order to reach the aura currents after which I could then have drawn up an analysis from it, in order to fathom the state of things in the form of a force intensity analysis, in order then perhaps also to fetch a memory substitute from Mr. Glansman's subconscious, which could certainly have provided me with information about what had happened with regard to the break-off of contact. However, all this failed me thoroughly, because with the penetration attempt into the force field unknown to me, I collided with such a strong resistance block that I was thrown away and lost consciousness for seconds. When I came back to myself, I felt something inside me that threatened to tear me apart. It was lying somewhere in my chest, somewhere in the emotional center, and it hurt like hell. It was strange for me, because in this strong mass, everything was unknown to me, 
and only the feeling of being torn apart from the inside made me almost lose my senses again. I had to fight for about 15 minutes to free myself from this tremendous power, which somehow tried to kill me, it seemed to me. After that, I could not fall asleep again, because something kept trying to penetrate me anew. So I woke up my wife, who then gave me the light that would illuminate the room all night long. Only then could I breathe freely again, and the vicious tearing in my chest slowly subsided. Well, I was like slain after all, and something seemed to weigh heavily on me, almost like a lead depression. In order to get to the bottom of these strange things, I tried again in the following two nights, but with the same outcome. Only this time I was prepared for it, so I could avoid the senselessness and defend myself against it from the very beginning. But I did not reach any goal with it, because I was neither able to break through the enormous force field, nor to analyze it. But it seems very puzzling to me which processes are involved, because such strong forms of power are extremely rare. It can only be a matter of high concentration. Thus it is agglomerations. That is what I thought, because it seems to me extremely doubtful that Mr. Glansman is able to generate such powers himself. Sure, but his subconscious is absolutely capable of mobilizing such powers and retrieving them somewhere in the collective we subconscious, perhaps because it has located a danger somewhere. Do you mean that it was able to analyze the coordinates of my ego? No, because when you did not interrupt your self-generated blockade, it would not be possible. Contact Report 084 Until then, please do nothing at all, because I could not help you in any manner, because I am not powerful enough to control these forces unknown to me, which must actually be a very high form of concentration of several million units. See previous entry. Contact Report 115 Well then, I was married to three women, which corresponds to the minimum value of a we form partnership of universal expanse. Contact Report 228 Questions from the public on the Contact Report of the 1st of May, 1989 Question If I look at the Arahat Athasata level, then the spirit forms that are in it should actually have slight to greater different evolutionary stages, something like those of human beings, only much more finely graded. So those spirit forms that have not been in the Arahat Athasata level for long have the lowest evolutionary levels, and those that are about to pass on to the next level have the highest. Yes, that is correct because evolution is a gradual development of learning and knowing and acquiring true love, knowledge, and wisdom. And this process is present in all gross material life forms as well as in all realms of spirit forms in their pure spirit energy levels. Consequently, in every WE form, whether material or spiritual, there are lower and lowest or higher and highest levels of evolution. Question. Since the spirit forms of the Arahat Athersata level must also evolve further, as must each of the higher spirit forms in the levels thereafter, surely there must also be a source of knowledge for them, perhaps in the form of a particularly highly evolved spirit form in the Arahat Athersata level. No, in the Arahat Athersata plane, as also in every other higher plane, the impulses in this respect come from the next higher plane, as also from the memory banks of one's own plane. With Earth humans, or as with all other human material life forms in the entire universe, the memory banks are also of the greatest importance, as is also the first pure spirit level, Arahat Athersata, from which knowledge impulses are deposited in the memory banks. Depending on the development of the material life forms, in this case the human beings, they subconsciously take up this deposited information from the higher level via the memory banks work with it and thereby gain development, hence they evolve. Question. If I look at the spirit form of Nakadimian, then according to my considerations it would have to have taken a very high evolutionary stage within the Arahat Athersata level before it reincarnated again from the Arahat Athersata level into a material human form in the material universe, 
about shortly before the transition into the next level? Yes, this is also correct. Nakademian's pure spirit form was already very highly developed in the Arahat Atharsada level, when the decision was made to return to a material human body, although the implementation could only be made possible through the decisive intervention of the highest level, the Patah Li level. This was because a special change of consistency had to be created for Nakademian's spirit form, through which alone it could be made possible for the spirit form to return to a human body. Question. So is it that the Nakademian spirit form in the realm of the material universe occupies the highest conceivable level of spiritual development and knowledge among all human life forms? Yes, that is correct. However, this level of knowledge evolution really only relates to the concerns of spirit, creation, absolutum forms, spirit energy, spirit planes, and to the power of spirit energy and so on. Yet this knowledge and level of evolution only reaches up to the highest level of Arahat Atharsada. Question. So this would mean that this spirit form has no source of knowledge and no memory banks closed up to the Arahat Atharsada level. Consequently, then, the Nakademian spirit form is the only spirit form in the material universe that not only has the highest knowledge of the spirit, but also constantly expands and advances it at the highest level precisely because it is able to use all sources of knowledge up to the Arahat Atharsada level. Yes, for there is the necessity that the Nakademian spirit form, in the period when it again animates a material human body, also continues to evolve in the knowledge of the Arahat Atharsada level. This must be so because the spirit form, when it one day returns to its original pure spirit level, has not been deprived of any love and wisdom and knowledge on the highest level, but can continue uninhibitedly on the path of transition to the next higher and finer pure spirit level. Contact Report 238 Such a case will occur as early as August, on a stretch of Scottish coast, where jellyfish have already mutated into giant sizes as a result of radioactive radiation from nuclear power plants. Guided by their Wii form, they will try to switch off the cooling water system, which corresponds to a controlled action and not a coincidence, as the responsible ones claim.